Welcome to Whitman Hanson Regional High School for a great evening of Panther basketball. I'm Bob Hayes along my broadcast partner Michael Moorside bringing you the call of tonight's game as the Whitman Hanson Panthers take on Nauset Warriors. We're glad you tuned into this Whitman Hanson Community Access production. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight should be a giant night here at Whitman Hanson Regional High School. Excitement's in the air. There's not a seat in the house. We've got students everywhere here tonight. We've got parents, coaches. It's an exciting game. I've got a quote from Coach Rogers of the Panthers. He says, this is high school's version of March Madness. It's very exciting. You'll see a lot of energy and emotion from all the teams. Time is fleeting. You're on borrowed time. Only one team in the state tournament is going to win its last game of the season.
and it's game time here at Whitman Hanson as the Whitman Hanson Panthers take on the Nauset Warriors. And excitement's in the air. We've got a packed gym here at Whitman Hanson on this beautiful March 1st evening, and we're ready to go here. The students have packed the stands. The parents are all here. We've got a full house, and it's great basketball. This is the March Madness of high school sports. Mike, what are you thinking? I think tonight the Panthers have a lot of victory keys. They can really execute. The numbers don't lie. Women Hansen is coming in at 8-3 at home. Nossett's 5-5 five five on the road. The numbers don't lie. I would expect this to be a mismatch game and Women Hansen to run a spread offense throughout the game. And as you said, Bob, the Panthers elect to use a run-and-gun offense. They're fast and furious, and this should make for an exciting game. It's awesome. I mean, you got the 2018 Patriot League team and division champs, third straight league title, coming in to play Nauset Warriors. Panthers are coming in with a 16-4 and record, and the Warriors are coming in with a 10-8 and record. It's a 74 percentage win in the regular season. They're eight and three at home, they're nine and three on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a game and here we go for the tip off. Josh Bartlett tips it to Leahy and off we go. Taj Hunter's got the ball, he's bringing it up. It's pretty tentative right now, everybody's feeling everybody out, but we're in for some awesome basketball tonight here at Whitman Hanson to Bartlett, to Rice. Rice fakes back to Bartlett. Bartlett can't handle it, knocks it out of bounds and we're gonna have a turnover right out of the gate. You're gonna see the Warriors go on offense now. Mike, who's going to be first blood tonight? I think the Nasset Warriors, Edwards. Edwards, he's number 24. He can do a lot of damage. He's an offensive threat. I'm looking forward to Hunter and Edwards matchup. Although he's not covering him right now, I think that it should make for an exciting game. It'll be great passing and hot three-point shooting. First shot of the game's an air ball for Nasset, and Whitman Hanson's back on offense. Genero goes to the hoop. Looks like he got fouled. No call over to Bartlett into Leahy over to Genero. Genero throws it up. Leahy comes down with a big, big rebound, brings it back out to the top of the key, and we're gonna reset here. And Sean Leahy, he is the league MVP. He's averaging 22.4 points per game and 9.6 rebounds per game in the regular season. That's quite a record. You almost lose the ball there. Back to Hunter. They're playing around. The shot clock's winding down. Genero goes up. Looked like he got fouled. It's a turnover. And Nossett's on offense. And here we have Joy bringing the ball up court. He's a good 3 and D player. Also, I'm looking forward to uh, any matchup that's guarding him. Joy can be a problem. He's quickness, passing, defense, and good basketball IQ. Genero comes up with the ball on a big rebound after a three-point shot that just rimmed out. Ball's over to Rice, up to Hunter at the top of the key. Back to Jacob Bartlett Hanson. He throws up a three pointer. Now we got a full court D going on here at Whitman Hanson. And Nossett's back on offense. And Nossett is a great passing and a hot three point shooting team. Edwards, Joy, Silva, and Point can drain the three ball. First blood, Nossett number three goes in for two. Charlie Campbell with six minutes left in the first period. Nossett two, Whitman Hanson zero. Nossett's putting a full court press on now. Whitman Hanson breaks it. Ball goes to Hunter, he goes in. And he's good for two. That was an awesome underhanded shot by Taj Hunter as he drove to the hoop. It looked like he got fouled, but we didn't see a whistle. Three point shot, and it goes in. Campbell throws up a three point shot for the Warriors. And they got a full court press on. Leahy's bringing the ball up. Passes it to Rice. Rice to Genero. Genero to Leahy. Leahy to Hunter. We've got action here in this first period at Whitman Hanson. Nice pass from Leahy to Jacob Hanson Bartlett for two. And that's great. Led by the inside presence, senior co captain Sean Leahy and Jacob Barson. Bartlett. They are providing great inside penetration and that's what they need to win. And that's a quote from the Enterprise. You've got some tough D here. We got a, we got a, we got a foul going on here at Whitman here. It's the first foul of the night. I think it was called on Genero. Yeah, despite the record, Nosset worries. 
uh, being five and five on the road, they are a dangerous and competitive team. Ball's back in. Too hard for number five, Jeremy Poyant to handle, and it's a turnover. You're gonna see Whitman Hanson on offense. Rice is inbounding the ball to Hunter, and we're on offense here at Whitman Hanson. Hunter to Genero, Genero to Leahy, Leahy to Genero, back to Leahy. Leahy looks like he's gonna drive to the hoop, and he does. Ball gets rebounded, back to Leahy. Leahy goes up and an underhanded one, and he's in for two. What a combination. Co-captains, Barlin and Leahy, excellent, excellent on the inside. The crowd shouting MVP, 24 for uh, Nossa, throws up a three-pointer. Chad Edwards, ball Edwards. goes to Rice. Rice to Leahy, Leahy to Genero. They're working up on the top of the key. Back to Rice. Yeah, it looks like they're in the spread offense. This is, this is a great opportunity for Women Hanson. It is a mismatch game. They do have the size advantage. General throws one up, just rims out, and Nossett's back on offense. Number 12 for Nossett, throws up a three-pointer, and it goes in. I'd look out for him, Joy, is excellent. Bobby Joy, Coach Rogers quickly calls a timeout, and with 3.34 left in the first period here at Whitman Hanson, it's Nossett Warriors 11, Whitman Hanson Panthers 6. It's quite an exciting crowd here tonight, and I think you're going to see some unbelievable basketball. We've got a full house, students, cheerleaders, parents. It's a great night for basketball. As Rogers told us at the beginning, it's a one-and-done thing. That's how this runs once we get into tournament time. So this is kind of like sudden death overtime the whole game. You've got to be playing and playing tough. And I think you're going to see that out of the Panthers here this evening. I think that... The, Pan the Panthers will have to go back to their Plymouth South game strategy that snapped them out of a three-game skid, going back to what will work, rebounding, running the floor, and sharing the ball. And like you said, Bob, they're a run-and-gun team. They're going to run, 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 and they need to uh, shut down the perimeter of the Warriors and try and uh, push the ball a little bit, score some points, get right back in this game. Well, we're ready for the action to resume here. Panthers are on offense. We got a full court press by the Warriors. Leahy to Hunter, Hunter to Leahy. Over to Bartlett. Hanson Bartlett, I should say. Back to Hunter. Nossett's in the zone. Ball goes to Leahy, he's going to the hoop. Just misses. Almost gets the rebound and Nossett's back on offense. We went one gets shot from downtown, way downtown. General brings the ball up. These guys have to be nervous in this first opening period. This is the, like you said, Bob, it's the one and done. General from Rice goes up, scores the two and gets fouled. Josh General's up the two and he got fouled. He's going to the line for one point. We've got some subs coming in. We've got Tyree coming in. General had a great game when they played Hingham. They did lose to Hingham in the first game of the season, but they did bounce back and beat Hingham 68 to 51, and General did score 12 points. And like you said, Bob, he's at the line right now. He just misses. It's, I don't know who tipped that, but I think it's going to be Nossett ball, and it is. Nossett's coming back on offense from the looks of things. Brian Tyree just checked into the game. Whitman Hanson's putting a little pressure in the backcourt. Trying, yes, trying to get those forced, unforced turnovers. They do have to play up on the three-point line. It looks like Nossett is going to be able to uh, hoist up some threes. A steal by the Panthers, and we got a foul against Nossett. Genero came down with the ball. We got a push call on Nossett Warriors. So the Panthers are going to go on offense. This production's being brought to you by the Whitman Hanson Community Access. Hunter to Tyree to Genero, up, and it's good for three. 
That was great offense, Bob. You can see that they were spreading the three-point line and having two guys down on the paint for any rebounds. Smart strategy, smart strategy by the coach. With two minutes here left in the first period, we're tied. Nossett Warriors 11 and your Whitman Hanson Panthers 11. Whitman Hanson with the hands up defense. Nice block by number 24. They called the foul on. Unbelievable block by Jason Hanson Bartlett. It's going to put Nossett at the line. That's his first. Those are some of the keys for Panthers' victory. Battle the boards. They've got to make sure they box out to the defensive boards and fight for those offensive boards and get second chance points. He misses the first one. That's number three, Charlie Campbell for the Warriors. And Campbell, he is a good slasher to the rim, the basket. It's good for the second one, and they've got a full court press on. They stole the ball and scored two on the Panthers. We've got another foul. And that's, that's the thing with Nossett. They have good hands up D. They can cause a high number of steals. And they're aggressive. They're not afraid. Hunter's bringing the ball up to Tyree. Back to Hunter. Back to Tyree. He throws up a three. Josh General comes down with the ball, amazing. And we got a foul on Tyree. That was a big reach on Brian Tyree. That's his first of the night. It's early in the game and it's gonna put Nossett back on offense. 11 just checked in for the pants is Cole Lewis. Line from Coach K from Beyond Basketball. So Whitman Hanson has great coaching staff. They breed an atmosphere of success. And as you can see, they, they have to cut down on the mental mistakes. They have to settle down. And what they have a three point um, deficit right now, but they can close the gap, a couple turnovers. That was some tough D by the Panthers and forced the turnover on Norset Warriors and Panthers are on offense. Speaking of tough D, as you say, Bob, Hunter Stella D can really shut down the best shooters in the league. Even going back to the Plymouth South game, his defense took over and, and led them to a, a victory. Let's see if that can happen tonight. Lewis gives the ball. Lewis gives the ball to number 15 of the Panthers, sophomore Max Borgen. Misses a little jumper. And he comes down with a rebound. Borgen rebounds the ball, gives it to Lewis, and Panthers run offense. Gives the ball over to Tyree. Tyree gets called for a travel, turns the ball over, and it's going to be Nossett Warriors. The spread offense is available for the Whitman Hanson Panthers. Just those little mental mistakes there. But they will get a chance back as we're winding down 30 seconds here in the first period. Nossett's on offense. They're not afraid to throw that ball up from downtown land. I've already seen that once tonight, and it was successful, so you might see some more of that. They're trying to be one and done. They want one shot before the buzzer. Number 11 goes up with it, and it's good. At the end of the first period, the score is Nossett Warriors 16, your Whitman Hanson Panthers 11. We've got a break in the action here at Whitman Hanson. The coaches are talking to both of the teams. We've still got students and parents filing into this gym tonight for this action-packed excitement here at Whitman Hanson. Mike, first, first period's over. Recap, what are you thinking? How do you think they're going to come out for the second period? The, for, for Whitman Hanson Panthers, the spread offense is working. However, the threes aren't falling yet, but I would expect the three to fall. They'll settle down. And Nossett, they are getting some turnovers. Um, they are getting rebounds off the Women Hanson misses. But I think this game will settle down. The lead, the lead will change. The momentum will swing in the favor of the Panthers going into halftime. As long as they keep their hands up on D, they shut down Joy, they shut down Edwards. Edwards has been relatively quiet so far. They need to make sure that they're not giving him any threes. He's been hitting threes in the pregame, and he can be an offensive threat. And here we go, we're back at the action here at Whitman Hanson. 
And there's Edwards on the inbounds. Nossa can get off the quick scoring runs and build a lead fast, as we, de as we did see in the first period. But once again, Women Hanson, they'll settle down. They got the league MVP. They got co-captain Barlett and Leahy. And like you said, Bob, once again, they're running gun. But this atmosphere is intense, very intense. We've got a foul. We've got a foul called on Nossett. Offensive foul. Offensive foul. Panthers are going to take over on offense. They're getting the full court press right now. They've got to be really careful with the ball. They're doubling up. They break that press pretty easy. Ball's given to Hunter. Hunter's starting the offense up top. They're spreading. Rice is up at the top. Passes to Leahy. Gives it to Bartlett. He shoots it. Looked like he got fouled, but I didn't see any whistle. I hear any whistle. Yeah, that looked like a, a four shot. He had. He was a little off balance, but they'll, they'll settle down. And I think Hunter's defense will be the game changer. Jacob Hanson Bartlett comes down with a big rebound on a three pound point shot for the Warriors on a miss. Over to Genero. Genero to Leahy. Leahy to Bartlett. A little too hot to handle. And the Panthers turn the ball over. With two tall guys like Leahy and Violet, they need to get the pass up higher uh, versus and lower, a little bit better ball control, be able to get those conversions inside, point pains, maybe get a couple and ones. But Joy and Edwards, they're, they're very dangerous. Unbelievable, unbelievable block by Jacob Hanson Bartlett, and they call the foul. It's going to be putting Nossett at the line for two. Right now, both teams have four fouls, three more each in the first first half. They'll be in the bonus shooting one and ones. He gets the first one. Nossett's free throw, they're, they're up and down. They're not really cons consistent. You know, they float around 55% for the regular season. And he gets them both, and the Panthers are back on offense here. Open Hanson. Ball's inbounded from Leahy. If I was, we got a foul, another foul. If I was the coach, Bob Rogers, I'd call a timeout and and change things up a little bit, trying to adjust to the pressure, slow things down a tad. Panthers are back on offense. Ball's inbounded to Taj Hunter. Over to Rice. Rice throws one up. Hanson Bartlett looked like he came down with it, but got it tipped out of his hands, and it's uh, Nossett back on offense. Once again, Joy bringing the ball up. He can create his quickness, his pass, and defense. He's very smart. He can't hit the three. As you just saw, they throw it up from anywhere. And we got a, we got a foul on Taj Hunter. What do you think of that, Bob? Do you think that was more offensive foul? Blocking foul. It looked like a little push to me, but the refs didn't see it that way. As long as Hunter stays aggressive, they should settle down. Campbell throws it up for a three. He, he just pushed Hunter and got away with it. I thought that should have been a call. Silver. Balls inbound to DeGenero over to Bartlett, Bartlett throws one up for three. Whitman Hansen has been relying on the three ball early and often, and now they're starting to fall and give them more, um, more comfort to be able to you know, establish a better offensive uh, game. Once you get the first couple shots out the way, you start feeling better about things. Ball misses. Leahy comes down with a big rebound there. It's a three-point shot. Passes it to Genero. To Leahy to Hunter. Over to Rice, it's a little too hot for Ty Rice to handle. And turnover again. That's four turnovers for Whitman Hansen. Nossett has two. Both have five fouls. 5.30 left, two more fouls. They're shooting one and ones in the bonus. They need to play up a little bit on Joy. Genero comes down with the ball after Joy misses the shot, gives it to Hunter over to Rice. Rice gives a fake. Almost loses the ball. Gives it back to Leahy. Back to Rice. Rice drives to the hoop. Passes it to Genero. Back to Hunter. Back to Genero. <coughs> Genero comes right down the paint. Goes to the hoop. 
Gets called for a travel. With 4.59 left in the second period, so Nauset Warriors 20, Whitman Hanson Panthers 14. Turnover was the story for the first half here for Whitman Hanson. That's five. They need to settle down and not make any mental mistakes. Although, if I was coach, I would call a timeout. He hasn't called one in a little bit now. He doesn't want to get caught up in the tempo. But look at Hunter. What with a the steal dive. by Hunter. Hunter jumps, goes out of bounds with the ball, but what an effort. Unbelievable. Taj Hunter was all over that. You're right, Bob. You talk about Hunter's stellar D. Cole Lewis just gets subbed into the game. He's a junior here at Whitman Hanson. And Nossett's back on offense with a 16-second shot clock winding down. There is a mismatch. Leahy. We got a he, three going up. Leahy comes down with the ball, gives it to Genero. The Panthers are on offense. Over to Hanson Bartlett, he throws it up. It's a miss. That's tough, long, re long shots, long rebounds. We got an offensive foul here against the Nauset Warriors. Genero took a pretty good hit there and had his feet set, it was an offensive foul. So that should be number six on Nauset. Yep, that's six, one more. Whitman Hanson will be in the bonus almost four minutes ago. This would be great, they need to that's another key victory. Capitalized at the charity stripe. Leahy inbounds the ball to Genero, back to Leahy. Leahy to Lewis. Lewis brings it up, gives it to Genero, over to Hanson Bartlett, back to Genero, back to number 11, Lewis. Haven't back seen to Leahy. Leahy throws it up, and it's good! And it's good for two. It's a two-pointer. They're starting to settle down now. The game's still close. They're closing the gap. But you have to play up on the three. You can't leave Joy open. You can't, you can't leave them open because if you leave them open, they're going to make you pay if you give them open looks. You can't give them an inch. Ball's inbounded to Rice. Over to Lewis. Back to Genero. Back to Lewis. He throws up a three. It misses, and we're back on offense. Nossett's with the ball. With the ball. You haven't, there's no, uh, I haven't seen any set offense from the... Women Hanson Panthers, like you said, Bob, once again, they're a run and gun team. Nice rebound by Lewis. He brings the ball back up, loses it. The shot misses. Jacob Hanson Bartlett comes down with it, and the Panthers are back on offense. Passes to Leahy. Over to Lewis. Back out to Bartlett. Nice tip by Rice. Botlick was in and misses the layup, and he gets called for his third foul. Yeah, that looked like a frustra frustration foul, Bob. They've been trying hard on the inside. Just can't get anything to fall right now. I think this is a good time to call a timeout if I was coach. You don't want Nossett to build a lead too big where you, where you have to really, really find um, more of a strategy. I mean, you're going two minutes, 45 seconds in the first half. You have to figure this thing out quick. We got a foul called on Ty Rice. And now. That's going to bring a one on one. Mm. We had a seven point lead here at Whitman Hanson. Nauset Warriors have beaten the Panthers 23 to 16. And like you say, Bob, Whitman Hanson, they play a full 32 minute game. So this is not over. One on one, misses Leahy, comes down with the ball. Panthers have had plenty of opportunities tonight. They're just a little bit, little bit off on their shots, which adjustments will be made in the second half, and you're gonna see, you're gonna see a different team, I think, come out in the second half. Yeah, this is a very fast pace. Seems like Whitman Hanson's rushing their shots a little bit. They need to just take a little bit more time, find the extra pass. But they are getting rebounds. They do need to capitalize off the fast breaks. There was a tip on that missed shot. Lewis throws up a three, and it's a miss. Brian Tyree comes down, and he gets called for a foul on a push. We got a one-on-one -on -one situation coming on. We've got uh, Max Borgen checking into the game, taking out Hanson Bartlett, who's got three fouls. Can't afford to let him get another one this half. 
Whitman Hanson as of February 11th. The Panthers were ranked 24 in the top 25 men's varsity basketball. Another miss. Genero comes down with the ball, gives it to Lewis. Lewis brings it up, passes it over to Tyree. Tyree to Leahy. Leahy misses. Tyree comes down with it and scores two. Nice little rebound by Tyree, and he puts it right back up for two points for the Panthers. Also, Whitman Hanson, they have had a season-high 10-game winning streak. And like you said, Bob, they are carrying a two-game winning streak into this first-round playoff matchup. We had a little tip there under the hoop. Nossa comes back down with the ball. We got a steal by Genero, and he's going to the hoop. Another, another uh, bon Whitman Hanson in the bonus. And it's only a five-point lead. Whitman Hanson's hanging right in there. And gonna... Josh Genero's going to the line for a one-on-one -on -one here. With a minute 28 left in the second period and a break in the action here at Whitman Hanson, the score is Nossett Warriors 23, Whitman Hanson Panthers 18. Hunter's checking back into the game. I think you're gonna see that run and gun offense try to tie this up before halftime, Mike. You know this team well, Bob. I'm, I'm sure that your predictions General, are absolutely right. Genero gets the first one, brings it to within four points. They do need to stretch the floor, get good offensive spacing. Offensive spacing, provide better offensive rebounding opportunities, leading to second chance points, also improve chance of stopping the fast break and better transition de-spacing, which is what they General need to do. General gets them both. We get a timeout here at Whitman Hanson. The Nosset coach called the timeout. If you look at the Nosset coach, he's pretty animated throughout the game. Both of those coaches on the sideline almost look like they're playing, which adds to some of the excitement in the gym. They've got a full house, too, right behind them. Everybody's here, no question about it, to make sure that this is an exciting game. So far, with the second period winding down, the minute and 28 left, it's Nossett Warriors 23, Whitman Hanson Panthers 20. And as I said, Mike, they're closing the gap. A minute 28, it was a seven-point game about 30 seconds ago. Now it's a three-point game here at Whitman Hanson. I think you're going to see some fast break action for the next 128, and you might even see the Panthers come out at halftime ahead of the Warriors. You're right, you're right. Whitman Hanson, the shots haven't been falling early, but they are right in there. And once those shots start to fall, like you're saying, they're going to build the lead, and they'll be able to focus, settle down, let the nerves go a little bit. Well, with the hustle that's going on here, it's no wonder we got eight and seven. Both teams are definitely playing 100%, and this is the difference you see at high school sports rather than to the pro level. These guys are playing 100% hot all-in basketball. It just doesn't get any better than this. Like you say, Bob, this is an aggressive game, one and done, they have to be aggressive. Three-pointer thrown up by Nossett. They do need to play up on the three. Edwards is a dangerous three-point shooter. You can't let him heat up, especially with Joy on the floor. They will connect with each other, and, and you just have to make sure if you're Whitman Hanson to play up on the three. Don't give them an inch. Ball into Tyree. Leahy goes in, puts it up, comes back for his own rebound, gives it to Tyree. Tyree puts it up, comes down with his own rebound, and he gets fouled. And we're going back to the line. Brian Tyree's going back to the line. He's going to be shooting for two. Great effort. The Twin Towers in there battling, fighting for the boards. They need to make sure that they fight for those offensive boards, get a second chance points. And if not, as you see, like you said, Bob, they're at the free throw line. They're in the bonus, one and one. But it is a shooting foul, so we will be shooting two. He misses the first one. Leahy comes down with the rebound, brings it up the top to Hunter. We throw up a three, yeah. and it's good. All net, Max never hits Morgan. the hoop. We're back into a three-point game right before halftime. They can't run the shot clock out, so it might be a number 24 throws it up. It gets tipped. What a, what a play by Max Morgan. He tips that ball. Leahy shoots up a three, misses it. Genero gets the rebound, comes down with it. Ball's Hunter to Tyree. And they're still in the spread, Bob, working the ball around, trying Back to find up. an open man. They do want the three ball. 12 seconds, 10 seconds left in the first half. Women Hanson down by three. Ball to Leahy. Leahy goes up. Nice rebound. Rings it through for two points. Could have called an and one on that one. Looked like there was a little contact. Could have tied the game up. 
It's halftime here at Whitman Hanson, and the score, your Whitman Hanson Panthers 25 and the Norset Warriors 26. What a great first half this has been at Whitman Hanson. The action's been tremendous. We want you to stay tuned to this Whitman Hanson Community Access production for some second halftime action here at Whitman Hanson Regional High School. And we're back here at action at Whitman Hanson Regional High School. We had a little halftime break. We're starting the second half with the score. Nosset Warriors 26, Whitman Hanson Panthers 25. We had a great halftime show here and it was very important to see that we had some people here giving out scholarships and they handed out $15,000 worth of scholarships with Brett Holmes receiving 10,000. So it was a great, great halftime. We're ready for action here at Whitman Hanson. Mike, what do you predict the second half's going to bring for the Panthers? I think the, the second half, they built good team chemistry ending the first half. They've had good ball movement. Once again, shots weren't falling too well in the first half. They were running the spread. The threes, they weren't connecting. Rebounds, they weren't collecting. However, they have settled down. They're rebounding, running the floor, sharing the ball when they, when they have the ball. They are resilient. Like you say, they play a full 32 minutes. But I think once the first half nerves are out of the way, you'll see Hunter's defense shut down, um, scores on the, on the Warriors, and Whitman Hanson should play up on the three ball, eliminating Edwards and Joy threat of a three-point shot. And we're back at the action. Balls to Leahy, to Genero, to Hunter. Hunter throws up a three. It just misses, and Nossett's back on offense. I think you're gonna see some, some run and gun basketball. He goes in for a layup. That's Bartlett a played off him because he finished the first half with three fouls. So he's got to be careful. The ball's into Genero over to Rice. Rice goes up, passes the ball to Leahy, and we've got a jump ball. Looked like Ty Rice should have put that ball right up. They were both under the hoop. That's a tough, tough decision, though, when you're doing it that quick. It's real hard to make that choice. So yes, yes, Noss it's back on offense. Once again, number 12, Joy Fenoss, he is a he is very dangerous. He's very smart. He can pass. He can drive to the rim. He throws it up from downtown, and it goes in for a three-pointer. Women Hanson has to play up on the three. It looks like Noss is starting to mix some screens in. Hunter loses the ball, ties it up, and then gives it up. Another one from downtown, and it's good. Nasa comes right out after the break and scores eight unanswered points. Nasa is a very good fast break team. They can't get out the quick scoring runs. They build a lead fast. You have to watch out for the outlet passes. And Edwards, he's been hitting a three in, in practice at, at halftime. So that's someone that you have to really look out for. Kind of to wrap up the first half, Genero finished the first half with seven points, Rice with two, Jacob Hanson Bartlett with five, Leahy with four, and Tyree with two. Leahy and Bartlett are a big part of this game. All of the players are a big part of this game, but they've got to step it up and score some more points here if the Panthers want to be successful tonight. There's a break in the action with 6.52 left in the third period, and the score is Hanson Warren. <laughs> Nosset Warriors, 34, Whitman Hanson Panthers, 25. I'd like to see that Whitman Hanson Panthers run and gun basketball come alive because once you get that transition offense going, once it starts flowing, you get the high percentage buckets, layups, prevents the defense from pressing, and then it will force the coach into adjustments, which hopefully that will happen and force the Warriors into a uh, timeout and have to make adjustments based on Whitman Hanson. Ball's inbounded to 
Genero over to Tyree. And the pass intended for Bartlett is broken up. And Nossett's back on offense here. Joy's not afraid. He can take it in, shoot, look for the open man. Him and Edwards are really playing a two-man game right now. But hopefully the two-man game of Bartlett and Leahy will come alive. Hunter comes down with the ball, and Whitman Hanson's on a fast break, gives it to Tyree. Tyree goes in for two. There we go. Transition coming alive, flowing and going. See if they can, Whitman Hanson can go on a little bit of a run, just like Noss gone on a little bit of a run. You've got to see him going at Bartlett because they figure Bartlett's in foul trouble. He's got three fouls in the first half. So you might see him going to the hoop a little bit, trying to force that fourth foul and take him out of the game. As you can see, Women Hansen is playing up on the three and forcing. Bartlett came down with the ball. That should have been a foul. That should have been a foul. The coach is fairly animated from Norset. He's working the refs hard. You're right, Bob. He has been animated all game. It is a sight to see, and this is quite a game. The atmosphere is amazing. Quite a buzz in the this whole building down on the floor at halftime when you're talking about all the scholarships they were giving out. And the ball goes to Norset. I don't see how they figured that. But the three refs were conferring. Now Rogers is talking to the ref. That transition with the ball, it didn't look like Norset ball, but we're going with the ref's call. Neither team has committed a foul so far in the second, second half. Women Hanson, seven point deficit. See if they can close the gap in the next couple minutes. Women Hanson's playing some pretty tough D. They're moving the ball pretty well here. They're going in, three throws it up. It's an air ball, it goes out of bounds. And it's going to be Panthers basketball. Leahy's going to be inbounding it. They're on a full court press here. Once again, Leahy women. to Genero. Genero to Leahy. Leahy comes up, gives up his dribble, gives it to Tyree. Back to Leahy. Leahy loses the ball temporarily, gives it up. And Nossett scores an easy layup. The full court press is working. You can't dribble through it, but there Genero does. Throws the ball to Leahy and the pass is a little bit ahead of him, turns it over. Women hands and Panda's making some mental mistakes, but I don't think those will last too long. It's only a nine point lead. Still a full quarter and 4.45 left. Gossett's on offense. Little jump shot, misses. Genero comes down with it, gives it to Hunter and we're back on offense here at Whitman Hanson. Ball's back to Hunter over to Genero. Genero throws a three up and it's good. There you go, Genero coming alive with the three ball. With hands and building some confidence, hitting the shots. They come right back and they throw a three pointer up and it's good. Women Hansen has to play up on, on the Warriors three ball. Can't be trading three, three pointers. Ball gives them to Tyree, back to Leahy. Leahy over to Genero. Genero. Throws the ball away. Rogers calls a timeout with a break in the action here at Whitman Hanson. The score is Nauset Warriors 39. Your Whitman Hanson Panthers 30. We haven't had a foul yet in the second, in the third period. So nobody's in foul trouble. And the only one that's even close is Jacob Hanson Bartlett with three. Brian Tyree has two. Taj Rice. In general, we each have one. You're watching a Whitman Hanson Community Access production with our volunteers tonight are Kevin Tarchi, Amy Broderick, and the famous Paul Watson on camera.
And I'm forgetting the two gentlemen on the floor. And we're back in the action here. Nossett's on, on offense. For much of the game for Nossett, Joy's been in control of the ball. But there's a turnover forced by the Panthers. I keep forgetting we have two cameramen on the floor. We're also volunteers, Ryan Tully and Gee. So with this five man and woman crew, they're doing a fabulous job here at Whitman Hanson Gym tonight. Ball's inbounded to number 12 for Nossett. And we've got something going on here. Max Borgen subs in for Brian Tyree. It's Nossett's ball out of bounds and we're back in the action. Borgen's a great three point shooter. We got a foul on Genero. It's on second. We're seeing some pretty tight calls tonight. Some of that stuff that I've seen already, like that one, was a little ticky tacky. I didn't even really think it was a foul. You're right, Bob. It is. It is playoffs. Let them play a little bit. It is. We a had we had quite a few fouls called in the first half, and there was quite a few I thought that they missed. So it's. I guess either way, it's nothing easy. You're right, Bob. You're right, Bob. Both both teams are in the bonus. Eight fouls in the first half of each team. Nossett just, we got a full court press going on and Nossett steals the ball and scores two more. Joy for Nossett is so dangerous. He's, he's really in control of the game. He's doing everything this for Nossett. This full court press is working. Ball's given to Hunter. Back to Jacob Hanson Bartlett. Back to Hunter and he loses it. And it's Whitman Hanson ball. The 253 in the third period left here at Whitman Hanson. The score is Nossett Warriors 43. Oh, Whitman Hanson Panthers 30. Now the crowd's getting into it with the Panthers chant. Bala with the little no look. 30 second shot clock went off. We had a timeout called by Nossett. It's 2.33 left here at Whitman Hanson in the third period. And the action hasn't changed. Both teams are playing full, full on. Whitman Hanson's having some, is struggling a little bit getting their shots off. They're a little tentative. I thought you were gonna see Jacob Hanson Bartlett throw that three up and he passed it in the corner and, and we ended up with a shot clock. So, uh, They've got to step it up a little bit, a 13-point game. It's a low-scoring game for both of these teams. I mean, Whitman Hanson gets 60, 70 points a game, so it's a little bit different seeing what's going on tonight. We're uh, late in the third period with only a 30-point score. And the difference here, it seems to be, they hold, they've held Leahy to four, Tyree to two, Jacob Hanson Bartlett to five, Rice to two. Rice is usually good. Genero's the high scorer right now. It's going to be Nossett ball. Panthers have got to pull off some steals here and start scoring some points. Genero reached in and pushed the ball, and the ball went out of bounds. It's going to be a Nossett ball with a 19 cent shot clock. Whitman Hansen trying to establish some momentum here, going a little bit of a scoring run. As long as they get those hands up on defense, try and cause some turnovers. He's got to be careful because he's got four already. Genero comes down with the ball. 
The Panthers are on offense. Ball goes to Genero. Jacob Hanson Bartlett shoots up a three and it's good. Brings the score to within 10. There's a confidence builder. These young men are playing a serious There goes serious one game. from downtown. Active hands. Unbelievable, just crazy, crazy, unbelievable pickup by Genero, and then the ball gets tossed as he goes to the floor. He was looking for a foul. He didn't get it. Joy close to a backcourt violation. And the Warriors throw the ball away, so it's going to be Whitman Hanson on offense. A team can't go on a run forever, so Whitman Hanson is bound to score some points. Like you say, Bob, close the gap by the end of the quarter. If they can chip this, chip into this lead, make, maybe get down to five, four. You know, you can defense nice. makes good offense. Long pass. Genero wasn't paying attention a little bit there, and he got stripped of the ball. He's trying to set up a play. Panthers are going through a little frustration here. It's, it's a little struggle here in the third period. It's not like them, they, so don't expect this to last long because they're going to come out with a vengeance here and close this gap. The full court press. Women Hansen has four seconds to cross broke court. It. They broke it, yep. Way he throws it up, Bartlett comes down with it, and he's going to be going to the hole, going to the line for two, as he gets fouled by number three, Charlie Campbell. Jacob Hanson Bartlett's at the line shooting two. And that's the first drawn foul by the Panthers on the Warriors in the second half. Hopefully, Whitman Hanson can get more fouls drawn, get into the bonus, try and chip away at this lead. Right now. It's it's a nine, uh, 11 point lead for the Nasser Warriors with 40 seconds to go in this third period. Bossy comes into the game. He misses the second one. A little ping pong action with the basketball. Whitman Hanson puts the full court press on. Again, Joyce is not afraid to take it into the rim. He's that type of player. Vanosset, they keep pressing. Women Hanson needs to look up, get the open outlet, outlet pass. Josh Genero throws up a three. He turns the ball over. It's going to be Panthers basketball under their own hoop. Women Hanson needs to capitalize on these turnovers. They only have 16 and a half seconds left in this third period. Leahy just came into the game, and Ty Rice just came into the game. So with 16-5 left, the Panthers are looking to capitalize on a two or a three. They give it a Rice. Like you say, Bob, these guys play their hearts out. They play a full 32-minute game. They just turn the ball over, and it turn back over. Nice pass from Leahy. To Borgen, and Borgen gets that two points they were looking for. With the end of the third period here at Whitman Hanson, it's Nauset Warriors 47, Whitman Hanson Panthers 36. What do you think, Mike? What do you think the Panthers are going to do when come out is on this fourth period? It's eight minutes to go, and they've got an 11-point gap to close to tie this game. The Panthers, they need to, they need to settle down, they pass a little bit more. Um, you know, unfortunately, the shots aren't falling at times. Um, but they are staying aggressive. They're playing with their hearts. They're resilient. Um, they need to shut Joy down on defense. Joy's having his way against the Panthers, getting inside. So Hanson, Ballard, and Leahy try and shut down the lane, maybe force them to the three-point line. And if they do so, they have to be careful of Edwards, who can't hit the three. Uh, Noss is really playing a two-man game on offense, Joy and Edwards. So you have to play up on those guys. You can't give them an inch. They need to, they need to connect on their transition points and try and 
try and get some get some foul shots, get to the line, get some and ones. They can't chip away this lead. Eight minutes left. It's only an 11 point lead. You know they can go on a scoring run, drop seven eight points, be right back, close the gap within no problem by the four minute mark. All right, we're back in the action. Whitman Hanson inbounds the ball to Rice to Genero. Genero gets it knocked out of his hands. We got to have an adjustment here on the shot clock. I think they forgot to turn it on. Good that's, catch, Bob. Good that's catch. what I was looking at. They're going to wind that down a little bit, I think, possibly. You're right. They brought down 23 seconds. Very good observation. Hunter, 23, shot clock, 23. row goes to the hoop, and he puts in a nice layup. These guys are staying calm. Panthers, they, they, they've been here before. You know, they can overcome a lead. Like you say, no matter the deficit, whatever it is, all the above, they can really come back. They've got to stop some of the right down the middle play. Yeah, the Panthers. And they're doubling. Genero loses the ball, gets hurt. Hunter comes up with it. Breaks away, he loses it. We've got a break in the action here. This is intense, Bob. This is very intense. Josh Genero's down on the floor. Looked like he got hurt on that last play. We've got a break in the action. He's getting up. He's a tough, tough kid. He must have got the wind knocked out of him. But Genero's on his feet. I really hope that the Panthers pull off this win because I, I want to attend more of these games. This is an exciting, exciting. If you're not at the game, fans, check it out. Check out the Panthers. As we talked about crowd, and I told you we have a sea of black, red and black here for students and parents. We also have members of the 07 Panthers basketball team, which they just reminded me, they put a league championship banner up in this gym. They were one of the first teams to ever do so. So they were had a little bragging rights. They were over in the corner and they were saying, Mr. Hayes, when are you gonna talk about what we did? Kind of an alumni thing. So they put a banner up here and it's great to see the support here at Whitman Hanson for all the activities, not just basketball. When you come to events at Whitman Hanson, you see a sea of red and black because school spirit here at Whitman Hanson is second to none. We have some of the best fans, whether they're super fans or parents, they all come and support these young athletes. So we're back on offense here. Ball's inbounded from Leahy to Hunter. Run a little motion offense. Back to Leahy. Back to Rice. Staying over in the spread. Over to Borgen. To Rice. Rice throws it up. It looks like it hit the top of the backboard. So it falls a little short. Oh, what a Leahy, block. Leahy blocks block. one. Then Hanson Bartlett blocks one. Edward Stoney and then had Tyler gets, Ty, Ty Hunter gets fouled. Edward Stoney had a free lane, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the Panthers come in, stuff him at the rim. That's what you get here at Whitman Hanson. You got Leahy that blocked one of the best shots of the night. Then you see Jacob Hanson Bartlett come up with a second block. It's like unbelievable. That's what what a night of basketball here at Whitman Hanson. That's what you're talking about, Bob, the crowd. Now the crowd's getting into a Ball's back to Hunter, over to Rice. Rice throws up a three, just rims off. Nossett's back on offense. Passes the ball to number 35, who passes the ball back court. And Panthers are gonna come back on offense. With 6.36 left in the fourth period, the score is Nossett Warriors 49, Whitman Hanson Panthers 38. We've got an 11 point spread here. And then Whitman Hanson's hustling real hard to close this gap. You just saw two unbelievably blocked shots. It's crazy here, the excitement. The ball's over to Tyree. To Leahy. Leahy goes up, misses. Little jumper from number three. Taj Hunter comes down with the ball. Passes it to Leahy, it's too hot to handle. Leahy goes down, and Nossett's back on offense. 
If Nasa can keep missing some shots here and Women Hansen can get the boards, run a little fast break, try and settle down. They've got to stop this three point action that's going on from Nasa. Joy's been on fire all game now. Edwards is coming alive. You've got to make sure that you play up a little bit on that three. They've got a full court press going on. That was a kick ball, just went out of bounds. Leahy's going to be inbounding it. As you said, Bob, league MVP, Sean Leahy. Ball's inbounded. Leahy's been held pretty close tonight. He's got four points, and that's part of what's going on. Ball's to Hunter. Over to Brian Tyree. He throws the three-pointer and knocks it down. They're coming alive. Never say never. There's plenty of time left here, Whitman Hansen. I think Hunter's defense will bring the Panthers back in this game. He's got to shut Joy down, can't leave him open. You can't just stand. We, we had two or three guys on the floor that time. Leahy with the ball, goes up, passes it out. Three-pointer goes up, and it's in. Here we go, Max, a little bit of Max, a run. Max Borgen throws up a three-pointer. Like you say, Bob, that running gun, the offense is coming back for the Whitman Hanson Panthers with 4.58 left in the final period. Maybe this game will go to overtime, maybe even a double overtime. We got 4.58 left, and Whitman Hanson just threw in a three, and 4.58 left in the fourth period. The score is Nauset Warriors 52, Whitman Hanson Panthers 44. They've closed this gap to eight points. You see how quickly a couple of quick threes makes a huge difference. We had a 12 or a 14 point game a minute ago. Now we've got an eight point game and the Panthers are on the run. They need to get and keep this excitement going. They're hustling, they're playing that run and gun style of basketball that they're famous for and they do great with. I think you're gonna see a, a, an exciting fourth period. You're right, Bob, they, they're building team chemistry. Like you say, they play the full 32, they are resilient. Simple strategy, rebound, run the floor, share the ball. They gotta make sure they play up on the three. Can't say that enough, can't stress enough. Play up on the three. Don't let Joy get any open looks. Don't let him drive, don't let him pass. He's their playmaker. He's been playmaking all game and you have to keep Edwards at bay. They've shut Edwards down. Whitman Hanson goes to the full court press. Almost turns the ball over. It's in the backcourt, Leahy reaches around, almost steals the ball. They ran 10 seconds off that shot clock pretty quick. You've got to play up on this guy because he, he's, down, he's a downtown type shooter. They're knocking him down, they just scored two more, it's a 10 point game. They're on a full court press. Le Genero to Leahy to Tyree, Tyree pass gets tipped. Got 10 seconds in the backcourt. They're gonna turn the ball over. Nossett's yeah. going on offense. Women Hanson, you know, could use a little half court press. Maybe a three two zone. They're gonna have to steal the ball. They need to score some points here. This is a game of they're going to have to. They've got to stop those little jumpers. You can't just let them shoot. You're going to have to play a little tougher D against this team. General to Leahy, to Tyree. Pass was intended for Leahy, intercepted. I don't know, the Panthers just, they're gonna have to play up a little tougher, I think. The clock, the clock is not gonna be their friend with a 12 point deficit here. Boomin Hansen needs to play, play some D, get the rebounds. Four threes and they're right back in this game. Or four and ones. Maybe Leahy's bringing the ball up. They've held Leahy to four points this game. Both teams are on two game winning streaks. Leahy throws one up, and it's good. There it is, a league MVP starting an offensive run. Got 22.4 points per game, 9.6 rebounds in the regular season. Chipped it, chipping down this lead, nine. You know, a couple more threes, three more threes. Here comes one from downtown. 
they're just letting them stay out there. They've got to play them. That's the second time that's happened. Three ball, Whitman Hansen cuts into the lead, and Nossin answers right back with the three. They just, and then here comes another one. Rebound by General, it was short. He gives it to Tyree, Tyree goes in, throws in a nice, nice layup. What a great shot that was. Brings it back to a 10 point spread with 2.32 on the clock winding down. The crowd coming alive with the defense chant. Another three's going up. Jacob Hanson Bartlett comes down with it to Leahy, to Tyree. Tyree puts in a nice layup. Brings that score back to eight points. Still plenty of time with two minutes left. Whitman Hanson only down by eight points. They're gonna have to start playing a little bit of tough basketball. Here we go. Joy's is so dangerous on the court. He can do everything for the, for the Warriors. But there we go, there we go. Whitman Hanson. Plays some tough D and gets the ball back. Looks like they're staying in the spread offense. Jacob Hanson Bartlett throws it up. Leahy comes down with it. And we're going to call an offensive foul on Leahy. That was an awful, awful call, I think. That was tough. Edwards looked like he leaned in on, on Leahy a little bit. Leahy just much bigger. Still, minute 34, eight-point lead. Teams can score eight points in a minute. Just gotta play good D, keep the hands up, run the pressure, full court press. Whitman Hanson's the comeback king. They, you'll see them come back. They're not gonna give up. They play the whole 32 minutes. So here we go. The ball's inbounded, the full court press is on. I can't see how that wasn't a foul. Now it's back to 10 point game. Ball stri given to Leahy. Leahy gets, goes to the hoop. Foul looks like it's on the floor. We got a minute 18 here left to Whitman Hanson with the score. Nossett Warriors 61, Whitman Hanson Panthers 51. It's going to be Whitman Hanson's ball under their hoop with a minute 18 left. The refs are letting them play here in the second half. Only two fouls to Whitman Hanson. Leahy goes in for two. We got an eight point game with 116 left here at Whitman Hanson. You got the Nauset coach working the refs hard. We got 116 left. We still got a lot of basketball here tonight. Cheerleaders are trying to encourage the crowd, get the crowd into it. This is kind of surprising based on the numbers. Five and five for Nauset on the road. Women Hanson, eight and three at home. But this is playoffs. Both teams start at 0 0. Okay, we're winding down here. The Ready to inbound the ball. The excitement's been action packed here at Whitman Hanson. We've got a full court press by the Panthers. They're looking for the basketball and they're looking for a tough. General gets a foul, immediately fouls. He's got three now. They've got plenty of fouls to give. You've got to go for the basketball. You're right, ball. They have to stay the General aggressive. goes for the ball and steals it. Possession arrow. We got to jump ball. We got to jump ball. Jump ball. And it looks like it's Nossett's ball. Yeah, you're right, Bob. The possession arrow is in favor of the uh, Nossett Warriors. Coach the Rogers was looking for a travel. It's Nossett ball with a minute and 11 left. They're going to be inbounding it. Oh. 
we got a foul on, it's gonna be on Genero, I think. That's his fourth foul. This is a shocker. The fans are really showing their displeasure at this point. Whitman Hansen is the sixth seed and Nossett is the 11th seed. I'm surprised myself, but it is a point lead, a, a point deficit. We got another foul call. If that's on Genero, he's out. That's his fifth foul. Josh Genero fouled out. Whitman Hanson's got five fouls to Nosset Warriors three. Minute left here at Whitman Hanson. The score is Nosset Warriors 61. Yo, Whitman Hanson Panthers 53. The crowd still showing their support and love for the Whitman Hanson Panthers. As they try to mount the comeback here, approaching one minute left. Taj Hunter, Hunter the tips the ball. And we got a foul. The co-captains Leahy and Barlett have been trying all game to establish inside game and bring this team back to life. Still a minute all five left. Plenty of time. We're only down eight points. They can't commit, Panthers can't commit any more fouls. If they do, they'll be in the bonus, giving Nossett one and one. We got a foul on uh, Taj Hunter. That's gonna put him in the one on one. It's been a long six seconds here at Whitman Hanson. They're putting Charlie Campbell on the line for a one on one. Nossett, when they get the ball again, they'll, they'll be in a spread offense. Usually that's end of game situation. Spread offense, space the floor, but nine point lead. Women hands still has a chance. They just gotta catch on fire, hoist up some threes, connect. Leahy comes out with the rebound and the Panthers are on offense. Tyree throws up a three, it's just short of its mark. We get a foul, it looks like it's gonna be on Ty Rice. It's on uh, Jacob Hanson Bartlett's his fourth. Two more fouls, Women Hanson will be in the double bonus. That'll be two free throws for Nossett. We're in a one-on-one -on -one situation here. The Panthers are hoping for the miss. They got the two big guns up there under the hoop. Way he comes down with it. Rice throws up a three. It's just shot. Taj Hunter fouls him. He's gonna put him back at the line. Joy's, Joy's been a handful for the Panthers tonight. He's been getting everything he wants, passing, shooting. Women hasn't really had much of an answer for him. But this still is time, 44 seconds. Like you said, Bob, Women Hands is hoping that they'll miss their free throw and switch into the transition. We're in a one on one, and he knocks the first one down. Brings us to a 10 point lead for the Warriors. Cole Lewis just checks into the game for Whitman Hanson. Leahy comes down with the rebound. As the clock's winding down. Way he shoots one, gets fouled, and it's a three-pointer. Good effort. League MVP not giving up on giving up for his team. He's staying in it. Trying to get himself to the line. Like you said, he's shooting three. See what happens here. Lay he's a pretty good shot. Misses the first one. He's got nine points for the for the evening so far. That makes it ten. Slowly chipping away, nine point, nine point warrior lead. I imagine that 
in this situation. The Panthers will have to foul. Noss will be the double bonus, shooting two. You can only hope they'll miss. We've got, a, we've got a timeout here, but I don't see how we call timeout when there's no clear possession there. I didn't. I, I, I don't get that. You're right, Bob. It looked like more of a jump ball situation. Well, with the 35 and a half seconds left here to play at Whitman Hanson, the score is Nosset Warriors 63, your Whitman Hanson Panthers 54. The Panthers are going to come out with this 35 seconds left for the full court press. This is Nosset's ball, and it's going to be a, a, a foul away situation. I'll try for an immediate steal, so. It wasn't a jump ball. I think it was a it was a uh, timeout. They gave Nossa the timeout, I believe. We, we were questioning that, too. How did that ball end up like that? They just switched the arrow, so. Thirty-five point five seconds left. Twenty-eight seconds on the shot clock. Nossa on the inbound. Women Hanson going for the steal. Trapping, causing the got turnover. Got a nice steal, got a nice steal. There we go, the Panthers stole that one. And Jacob Hanson Bottler puts a layup in for two. Cole captain keeping things alive. We got a foul by Bossy. It's going to be two plus one. With 9.9 .9 seconds left here. Whitman Hanson, the score is. It looks like we might have a timeout. Joy's just been too much for Nossett. He's such a threat. Number 12's at the line, shooting one with nine seconds left. He misses it. Way he comes down with the ball. Three-pointer goes up. And that's it tonight here at Whitman Hanson. The final score from the Whitman Hanson Regional High School. Nossett Warriors 65, your Whitman Hanson Panthers 56. I'm Bob Hayes along with my broadcast partner, Michael Moorside. Thank you for tuning in to Whitman Hanson Panther Basketball. You've been watching a Whitman Hanson Community Access production. And until next time, have a great evening.